Hey, how's it going? So I'm out here in the garage playing with uh, Mach 3 and Mach 4. Thought I would shoot a, hopefully, a quick video talking a little bit about Mach 3 and Mach 4. So, uh, as you probably know, Mach 4 is the uh, successor to Mach 3. It's the latest version of the control software from Artsoft. I am running right now um, ver build 3233 with a Ethernet smooth stepper that's at build 193. And uh, so far I like Mach 4. Mach 4 is great. Uh, things that I like about it, you know, the interface is more modern, it's cleaner, it's more professional, runs on a 64-bit operating system, that's really good stuff. The MDI screen um, lets you enter multi-lines of code where Mach 3 would only let you enter one. Um, so that's really nice. That's more professional. The, uh, this is you know a subtle thing, but Mach 4 conforms to what I believe to be is FANUC type A formatting, where Mach 3 looks like it was trying to be FANUC type B, which is less common. So. Mach 4 lets you do incremental moves with U and W, or U, V, and W, uh, where Mach 3, you had a switch with, I believe, a, a G code or whatever to go from incremental to absolute mode. Um, so, you know, subtle things. Things that I, something that I really like about Mach 4 is the way that it handles offsets. The offset screen in Mach 4 is, uh, it feels professional. Um, it has incremental inputs. You can measure the tool right from the offset screen. It just, it really feels nice. It really feels like, you know, if you've used a, a professional, like a real CNC machine with like a FANUC or a Yasnak or Mitsubishi controller or whatever, uh, you'll, you'll like the way that the offsets work in Mach 4. It feels more professional. It also, in Mach 4, they fixed some of the little quirky things. Like, I don't know, you may have never noticed, but some of the columns in Mach 3, like certain like wear offset columns and things like that didn't really actually work in Mach 3. Um, the directions of the offsets could be a little weird in lathe mode in Mach 3. Mach 3 is entirely functional. It works great. Lots of people are using it. I use it. But those, those are things that I always felt were a little bit annoying. In Mach 4, they seem to have fixed those. So that's really good. Uh, same goes for the fixture offset, same thing. The interface is cleaner, has all these, you know, input, incremental input you can measure. Uh, fixture offsets work off, uh, fixture offsets and tool offsets nicer in Mach 4. The responsiveness of Mach 4 seems to be better. It's, it's really fast. If you program a, um, a, like, uh, inch per revolution feed rate, um, it seems to monitor the spindle RPM throughout the entire course of the, the move, where Mach 3 seemed only, it only took like a snapshot of the spindle RPM at the beginning of the move, and, and that's what you got. So Mach 3 was adjusting the feed rate like line to line. Mach 4 seems to be compensating that, that feed rate like constantly throughout the movement of each line. So that's really good. Really cool thing in Mach 4 is this Mach Motion. Um, package they've given you. This is like, uh, feels like a legit um, conversational programming interface. You know, Mach 3 had the wizards, you know, so this sort of looks like the wizards from Mach 3, but this is cleaner. You can actually build like a process table. You can build operation after operation after operation, build an entire program. You can move the operations around it, it saves this table after you build this table. You can save it and open it back up and reuse it or change it. The uh, interface for these uh, operations is, is really clean. It's similar to the Wizards in Mach 3, but it's just nicer and cleaner, uh, more professional looking. And it's just really functional. So, uh, you know, in my opinion, you know, people uh, often send me messages via YouTube, um, hey, uh, Franco, if I buy one of your mini lathe uh, CNC conversion kits, how do I write programs for it? Well, the wizards have always been there in Mach 3, um, but Mach Motion here in Mach 4 
is really nice. It's, it's definitely better than what was available in Mach 3. And speaking of being available, I do have uh, 7x14 mini lathe CNC conversion kits available. So if you're interested in one of those, check out my, my videos on the conversion kits or feel free to shoot me an email. I'll be happy to talk to you about those. Moving on. Okay, so those are all awesome things about Mach 4. Uh, is there anything bad about Mach 4? Well, I don't know. There's a few cons. So Mach 4 is more expensive than Mach 3, but it technically is also, should theory like, theoretically be better than Mach 3. So, you know, I guess it should cost a little bit more money. Mach 4, um, although they have a optional plug-in that costs uh, an extra charge, uh, they have an optional plug-in that will let you use it with a parallel port. Mach 4 really seems like it wants to be used with a motion control board, like a smooth stepper. Um, so you're probably going to have to spend the money to buy a, a motion control board, but that's okay because smooth stepper is outperforms the parallel port, you know, by a, a great margin. So smooth steppers are well worth the money. Um, Something else, you know, you'll find when you get Mach 4, there's not a lot of people using it yet, it, I, I believe. There is not a great abundance of plugins for it. So one of the things I ran into initially, I really like to use an Xbox 360 controller as a pendant. I could not find a plugin to make it work. So the very first thing I had to do was um, go on a whole exercise trying to learn how to use uh, the Lua script editor in Mach 4, which was great. I, there are a um, couple guys on the, the forum who are super, super helpful. Um, but, you know, it would have been nice if all this stuff would have been available. I mean, now that I did it, you know, I learned a lot. I'm really happy that I learned how to write all this code. And I, I feel like I know the software a lot better, but, um, you know, the average person may not want to, you know, spend that much time going through it. You know, they just want to, you know, make, make their machine work, right? Like, you know, you don't want to mess around. So hopefully there'll be more plugins available for Mach 4 in the future. But if you like using the Xbox 360 controller, you can. Um, you just have to, you know, get on the forum and find the code and create a script. And, um, you know, it is what it is. So not the end of the world. Um, but it's, it's something to think about. So probably though, there are a few things that are an issue with uh, Mach 4 right now, and it's maybe not so much the software, but it's the implementation of the ethernet uh, or the e uh, ethernet smooth stepper. So right now, the current version of the ethernet smooth stepper that's available doesn't support uh, threading. And I, I confirm that I tried to do some threading with it here this evening and Everything seems like it's working, but it's not actually reading the spindle feedback. So you can change the spindle RPMs and the, the threading cycle just doesn't care. It just uses the same theoretically correct feed rate. So uh, threading is a known issue, I guess. That's on the Ethernet Smooth Stepper website. Uh, and I was also surprised by this back, the, the, according to the website, backlash compensation doesn't work yet um, on the, uh, Ethernet uh, smooth stepper plug-in for Mach 4. So, so these are kind of like really big deal sort of things, something to think about. So the, you know, the complete list is there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight things that are on the Warp 9 website right now that um, are known issues for the Mach 4 plug-in. So me personally, I can't wait for all these things to get straightened out because I think um, I think Mach 4 is awesome. I really like it and I want to use it, but there's a, a couple little quirks there, um, especially I guess if you're using the Ethernet smooth stepper or maybe the USB may have the same issues. I'm not sure. Um, if you're using the smooth stepper boards, which are probably the most popular, probably the best motion control boards, there's some Mach 4 issues. So, all right, well, hey, Mach 4, I hope uh, you enjoyed getting a, a few glimpses of, of what it looks like. And uh, thanks for watching my video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're into this stuff. All right, be safe. Thanks a lot. So long.